How to Determine Acidity and Basicity of Organic Compounds If you're curious about how to figure out if an organic compound is acidic or basic, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. To determine the acidity or basicity of an organic compound, you need to understand a few key concepts. First, let's talk about what makes a compound acidic or basic. An acid is a compound that donates a proton, H+, while a base is one that accepts a proton. Stability of the conjugate base. One of the most important factors is the stability of the conjugate base. A conjugate base is what you get when you remove a proton from an acid. The more stable the conjugate base, the stronger the acid. For example, if you compare acetic acid and ethanol, acetic acid is more acidic because its conjugate base, the acetate ion, is more stable due to resonance. Resonance allows the negative charge to be spread over two oxygen atoms, making the acetate ion more stable than the ethoxide ion, which is the conjugate base of ethanol. Electronegativity and the inductive effect. Electronegativity plays a big role here. When an atom in a molecule is highly electronegative, like chlorine or oxygen, it pulls electrons away from the hydrogen atoms, making it easier for those hydrogens to be released as protons. This is known as the inductive effect. For instance, if you have a molecule with three chlorine atoms attached to a carbon, it will be more acidic than a similar molecule with only one chlorine atom, because the three chlorines pull more electrons away from the hydrogen, stabilizing the conjugate base. Resonance effect. Resonance is another crucial factor. When a conjugate base can delocalize its negative charge over multiple atoms through resonance, it becomes more stable. This is why carboxylic acids are generally more acidic than alcohols. The acetate ion, for example, can delocalize its negative charge over two oxygen atoms, making it a weaker base and thus making acetic acid a stronger acid. Size of the atom. The size of the atom also matters, especially when comparing elements in the same group of the periodic table. Larger atoms spread out the negative charge more, making the conjugate base more stable and the acid stronger. For example, HI is more acidic than HF because the larger iodine atom spreads out the negative charge more effectively than the smaller fluorine atom. Periodic trends. When moving across a period in the periodic table, acidity increases from left to right because electronegativity increases. This means that as you go from left to right, the atoms become more electronegative, pulling electrons away from hydrogen and making it easier for the hydrogen to be released as a proton. Basicity. For basicity, it's about how easily a compound can accept a proton. Bases like ammonia are more basic because their lone pair of electrons is more available to form a new bond with a proton. The basicity of a compound can also be understood by looking at the pKa values of its conjugate acid. A lower pKa value for the conjugate acid means the base is stronger. By considering these factors, stability of the conjugate base, electronegativity, resonance, size of the atom, and periodic trends, you can determine whether an organic compound is acidic or basic and how strong it is. These principles will help you navigate the world of organic chemistry with confidence.